Hi again. I did forget to say take care in last when I left, but I did want to um, mention there was a a baby that came up missing, and I knew that baby was going to be okay. And the next thing I heard, he was fine. Um, had something to do with he was missing with his parents. And then there was, um, was it, it may have been yesterday or a couple of days ago. Um, there was a little girl named Frankie who came up missing in Bakersfield. I knew she was going to be okay, and I never heard anything from AP, uh, anything updating about that. And so, I sent AV a message saying, find Frankie, and he never sent anything back. And it was like, I knew that that little girl was just going to be found. It, so, I didn't, I didn't get into any of that. But, um, not to freak anybody out, okay? This is not to freak anybody out. This right here, do you see the name on that book? That's my maiden name. That was the name that I was given at birth. The only thing is, with my name, the way that it was spelled had a Y on the end. Now, when people way back, I also have evidence, I have proof, not evidence, proof, that my ancestors came here from the Mayflower or on the Mayflower. Um, I have uh, logs of the registration, the registration of all the people that got on and, and all that. And, um, God, I should have put it in front of me. Um, but, his name was Stephen Hopkins, I think. It was Stephen something. And he had came over on the Mayflower. But I also had other relatives that came over on the Mayflower. My mother's father, which would be my grandfather. His mother which would have been my great-grandmother, if I'm correct. She came over here uh, from Ireland on one of the ships. And even though, I guess she might have been a child at the time, I'm not sure. But she ended up, my Irish great-grandmother married a full-blooded Indian. I don't know. Now, there's three types of Indian in my family. The Choctaw, the Cherokee, and the Creek. When you are on, when you go to get on the roll if you are Native American. You can only choose one. You can only claim being one kind. And usually what people do is they claim what they're most of, which is what you should do. But the only thing that we could track, and my mother's brother his wife tracked down, she's passed now, but she tracked down all the information and she got 
like so-and-so begot so-and-so and all that. I don't know how they do that ancestry, but that is so cool. I love that kind of stuff. Um, she got all that information and, um, long, 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 long time ago, because I remember being a little bitty kid and I had an Indian card. Um, and there was also something that I forgot to mention. My mom had a grandpa or an uncle or somebody, but it was a man in the family that did the same thing, had the same gift or whatever. Um, and I do remember when I was a little kid, me and my sisters called it ESP. But that, I mean, I was born in 66. So it was in early 70s. I can remember back when I was two years old. Um, it's crazy, but yeah, just a few things I forgot to mention. But, um, this is, uh, I have never even read this book, but I did see BBC has a documentary that is called The Penley Witch Child. And I watched that documentary and I do have it saved. Um, and then I went, was looking through books or something on Amazon or something, and I found this. And I've never, I've never read it. Um, I, I get special books and just never read them. Um, and then I have this one from, um, my king but I've never read it either so I can only imagine but I I do like I do collect books um but they're special books and but I just wanted to mention a couple of those little facts I'm not nervous now that I recorded a video and I'm kind of relaxed and I'm wide awake and the reason why I can't sleep at night and I may I think I mentioned this in a in a video before but ever since I was a little kid I have had night terrors and I wake up screaming well I don't even wake up that's that's the problem. I will sit up in bed and I'm screaming and hollering and, and wakes up the whole house. Everybody comes in. What's wrong? What's wrong? Like I'm being murdered or something. And, um, this happens all the time. My husband, he, he ignores it. He sleeps through it half the time, but, but that's him, you know? And, I asked my daughter once if she thought maybe something happened to me when I was a little kid and I'm blocking it out. And she said, no, she, this is how my daughter is. She, no, I think that the spirits are coming to you in your sleep and all at once and you just don't know how to handle it. Now, I, I have had a lot come to me at one time and I have to tell them to give me some time and to let me calm down because it makes me sick. It makes me want to puke. It, it really does. It's weird. But I know when they're coming and I just have to tell them to just give me some space and some time and come to me one at a time. And one thing with me is I've learned a lot.
from watching Amy Allen because, and I wasn't even meaning to, but I would watch her shows. I love Amy Allen. I want to meet her so bad. I, that's one person, if I had a choice, like some people would say, oh, I'd like to meet President uh, Abraham Lincoln. Well, I'd like to meet Amy Allen. Um, because there was, there's a lot of things that's happened to me that I didn't realize was what it was until she mentioned something and I'm like, oh my God, is that what that is? <laughs> um, but, but really it, it, I mean, there's times when I would be so nauseous. I was like, man, if I didn't know better, I'd think I was pregnant. <laughs> That's how nauseous. It, it, and it has done a toll on my body, too. So, Because I've always been around them. Um, and I do remember one time when us there was me i was the youngest and i have two older sisters and all the kids in the neighborhood when we lived in selma california all the kids in the neighborhood got together in the, somebody's garage and they had a ouija board all the lights were off they just lit candles and my sister was probably smoking dope or, you know, whatever. Um, because I have one sister that's bad. Um, but either that or she was doing some boy. I don't know. But they were all playing with the Ouija board. And that's something that I do not do. I do not want in my house. I do not want things like that around me. Mm -mm. If there's one around, I'm not going in. Mm -mm. I don't I don't want nothing to do with it. I don't want to be around it. Um, because, I mean, a lot of people probably think, oh, it's just a game. It's not real. Well, I'm going to tell you, when you go opening doors and you don't know how to close them, you are asking for trouble. I'm telling you, any, any time, now, the only, I love the Foreman Brothers. The Foreman Brothers, I will watch, and Amy Allen, The Dead Files, I will watch. Because... Amy Allen goes in and she tells you what she feels, what, you know, um, she doesn't conjure shit up. Sorry. She doesn't conjure things up. And the boys, uh, I call them the boys because I feel like they're so much younger than me. Um, the Foreman brothers, um, Rocky, Josh, Sean. They go in to something that's already there. But at the end of each show and each case that they go in, they bless the house. They close all the portholes and cast everything out. I have sage. I have holy water. I have all that. Um, nothing evil is in any of my houses, um, because I make sure there's nothing there. <clears throat> my mom was having an issue, and I never took care of it before I left Oklahoma. Which is where I'm from. And um, I should have. 
but I'm just hoping everything is okay now. Maybe, maybe she rebuked it. She, sh I told her, I said, Mom, you know how. You know how to get rid of that stuff. But, um, yeah, I've cleaned houses, or cleansed houses. I think three now, so. One, I didn't, because it was the lady's grandma. And I told her, and she lives next door. I said, just talk to her, it's just your grandma. And, I mean, I could tell it wasn't something evil in disguise, you know, because that happens. It does. Um, and I guess being spiritual like I am, It, it, it's it's like this. I had there was somebody visiting, um, very good friends, and they were like, "Oh, I don't know how we got on this conversation, but they said something about, oh, I don't believe in hell. I don't believe there is no devil." And I said, "Do you believe in God?" And they said, "Oh yeah." And I said, "If you believe in God." then you do believe in the devil because they come, you know, you can't have one without the other. You, under, you know what I mean? And it, that's true. I mean, and You, you, you just can't. You can't have one without the other. And there, in every part of the world, there is, um, like, Indians, uh, Native Americans, we have, like, shaman. Um, and that's kind of like the psychics for the Native Americans, even though Native Americans generally have that anyway. Um, look, I, I'm, I grew up listening to Loretta Lynn and all that, <clears throat> and her mother was gifted, and so is Loretta Lynn, and their Cherokee. Um, there's a, all, all kinds of, like, in Asia and all over the world, people have that um, belief system they do and they and they have a belief of of their God and personally for me it's Jesus Christ okay but my opinion I'm open-minded as long as As you, uh, what's that word? As long as you believe in some kind of God, that's all that, I mean, that's all that matters to me. Now, you ask a preacher or something and they're going to tell you different. But I'm not a preacher. And I'm not a judge. And I'm not a jury. Um... So, it makes no difference to me, but I think everybody should have some God, you know. But, for me, it's Jesus, so. And, I just, I pray all the time. And, I pray that he gives me the 
the right things to say and when to not speak because just because you can doesn't mean you should. Sometimes it's best if you just listen. And that includes listening to what's going on in your psyche, I guess. I mean, I don't want to, I'm so scared. I'm only so scared to say the wrong thing because I haven't been out of this broom closet <laughs> very long. You know, I mean, yeah, I did it at home all the time. But there wasn't people watching me or judging me or, which I don't care. I mean, I really don't. But I don't want people to think that, you know, she's nuts or... Because a lot of people think psychics are, and some, most, there are a lot that are. I, I do agree with that. But when you've been cursed with this from birth, what do you do, you know? And finally, I just... I guess it's kind of like my personal opinion. I don't see why anybody that is gay needs to come out of the closet. Whose business is it of yours who I prefer to sleep with? Why does that matter? It, it, it doesn't matter. Now, just because you're a boy doesn't mean that you need to get married and have children and a wife and don't do, don't live your life fake. And that's what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to live my life like I need to, like I feel like I need to. And quit being scared and hiding behind things. Um, instead of saying something that I might be able to help, you know. It's just, it's so hard to finally open my mouth after keeping it closed for so long. My first husband knew. He never doubted me, never had a problem with it. Um, nobody, his family was totally open. Um, my husband now, he, uh, he doesn't really think one way or the other. He just, I think kind of creeps him out. <laughs> I do. I, I think it kind of scares him because I've told him things that's happened and where he's lost people. <clears throat> so, but thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Thank you for your support. Until next time, bye. Take care. Twice.